What's up YouTube, Poplar Mechanic here and today we're going to talk about the ultimate proto setup for battery life. Alright guys, have you ever been up a tree and run out of battery? It's the most annoying thing on the planet. You're up there, you're about to get an epic shot and then your battery dies. To add to the issue further, if you're running something like the media mod, you then have to take everything apart to put that battery back in, uh, which most people wouldn't do or run. But I happen to like the media mod just because when you're working up in high winds, it's quite windy here in Alberta. Um, you know, you hear a lot of that wind noise, but with this uh, muffled thing on the media mod, it, it really helps dampen that wind and just give you a little bit better audio. Um, so what I decided to do uh, is to mount a uh, power bank inside the hard hat um, and after trying a couple different locations I've discovered that uh, right here in the front is the best now basically what I did was I just lifted up the padding here um, and then put the zip ties on to hold it in this cord I'm using I will leave the link in the description um, it's kind of important that you get the right one because you're gonna want a 90 degree um, end but you could also gets the one with a 90 degree C on this end and it would be even more streamlined and cleaner but this one will work um, and it's not getting in my way so I'm gonna run it um, and basically what I do is once you strap your power bag in here you know I have the Cena and everything in here so you know there's a lot of wires but if you if you look you can tell it's really clean and I also use these cord pops um, they're really awesome you can see it right in there see just in front of my finger um, and that really holds and organizes your cords. I can leave a link for that as well. Here's the box. They're just cheap Chinese, uh, you know, cord pops, but they really do a good job of organizing your cables um, and dealing with those wires. So moving to the back side of the helmet here, I'm just going to sit with you guys like this because it's easier for me. Um, you know, I've got my Cena mounted on the back. Now you can do your wiring, however. Um, I won't get into depth about that, but those cord pops will really clean up the wiring for you. Um, this cable will actually fit through the bottom hole. Now obviously the downside is you can't close your vents, but I'm fine with because we generally do work in the heat, so it doesn't really affect me. Um, but it will actually fit through this bottom hole. Now on my old helmet I had a cord pop here. But I, ran, I actually ran out um, of the ones I wanted to use for this in that multi-pack. So I just used hot a hot glue gun. And what that does is, you know, obviously I adjusted it, made sure I had enough cable. And then I glued it down. It just keeps it streamlined so it doesn't catch on branches. And then you can see from the side here um, how that 90 degree plugs into the media mod. It's just absolutely awesome. Um, this setup here... Um, I will leave the link in the description for the power bank I'm using. It's fairly inexpensive. I believe it's a 10,400 milliamp hour. Um, I've had no issues. The only issue that I have with this setup, and I'll show you what it is. So this is the Hero 10. Um, I'll start with this. After firmware 1.20, they had issues where it was saying you don't have enough power uh, when you're running a power bank without the battery. So what I've done is I went ahead and included, um, I'll leave a link in the description, you can just click on it. You What you do is you download those three files, create a folder called update, drag and drop those three files in, and then put the update folder into the root of your SD card. And then when you turn your GoPro on, um, it will update, or sorry, downgrade in this case to 1.20. What that's going to enable you to do is uh, run a power bank without a battery and you won't have any issues. Now there's one small issue and it's not an issue if you just listen carefully. So it, right now it's all plugged into the power bank so we're going to go ahead and turn the Hero 10 on. Just one press. And it might do that thing right now but I'll just, just we'll try one more time. Give it a press. Okay so in this case when it does this you just simply unplug it. Now if you had the battery in there, this causes huge issues. You'd have to take everything apart. So, okay, so I'll plug it in now. And you'll see that red light flash once. Okay, so it flashed. You're just going to go ahead and press the button. The camera should turn right on. There it goes. And sometimes, so that's an issue you'll have. But, but here's a way to get around that. Never shut your camera off. So you're going to have lots of battery. So what you do is you just leave it run. Um, if you want to save a little extra battery life, leave your front uh, camera off. I shut it off. 
and that's just so it doesn't eat as much battery but i'm telling you with this 10,400, you're going to last pretty much all day so you don't actually have to record and then the screen will go black it'll go black and you'll burn very little battery so say you want to record you just go ahead hit record it'll start recording your video you know what i mean and then you then you just when you're finished you just press record or if you're using the remote use the remote doesn't matter and there you go and you can just leave it like this you don't have to shut it off now in the case where you're not doing anything for a while and you know you can just go ahead and power it off okay i usually leave mine on just for this fact now sometimes what will happen when you have the power bank now that i shut it off i'll go ahead and turn it on okay so in this case it worked but sometimes it won't okay you do have to press and hold it for a bit but if it doesn't work the genius part of it is you just unplug this plug it back in and then it'll work um, and you won't get that power issue that you will get on those later firmwares and they haven't fixed it and as far as i know the hero 11 has the same issue i'm not sure if there's a different firmware that works for that one uh, but this one that i'm going to give you guys definitely works for the hero 10. so this basically eliminates you know the need to swap batteries you know mess with your settings take anything apart it's just it's it's a more streamlined setup and then what i do is when i get back to the shop i hang this up i made a hanger for all our hard hats we'll hang them up we'll plug the cena in and then i'll run a and then i'll run another cord that charges my power bank right inside the hard hat that way when i go to work the next day it's ready to go um, so I hope I explained everything properly there, guys. I know it's a little bit long and drawn out, but if you want it to work, uh, that's what you're going to have to do. And, and you know, these media mods, they're actually really good. Uh, you know, obviously you need it in this case or a, a special case from Amazon. You can get ones that'll allow you, that go over top that you can take the door off and plug in the side. That's an option as well. I would recommend going with this because um, you can just do a lot more with it you've already got the you know the microphone is it top notch probably not but it, it prevents wind noise and it's a lot better than the standard camera um, so yeah it just runs you there really streamlined really clean setup um, you know I've, I've pretty much this will be the second one I've done my other one's not quite as good but you can just see how clean that is inside the hard hat I just zip tie my mic right here um, and then feed it through the front and then the power banks here and you do notice a little bit of weight and there is a little bit of extra weight with the media mod but it, all in all you don't really notice it when you're out working it's not that much um, and then like I said I've used those cord pops I showed you I'm running the 10s Cena unit but uh, I run the SMH 10 hardware I'll show you that right now too you can get these on Amazon as well okay so this is just the SMH10. I find that they're the best for length um, and just the microphone and everything. So I would highly recommend going with these. As far as newer units with mesh and things like that, if that's your thing, you'll just have to figure out what you get for those. Um, I don't know if they'll they'll hook in or not. So, anyways, I just wanted to show you guys that. Um, and if you want to set this up, it's going to greatly save time for you. You never have to worry about batteries again. Um, you can just literally take your hard hat, unplug it from the wall in the morning like you normally would. You can head out and you can cut trees and you'll have, you know, obviously when you get a video, you'll have to empty your SD card, but you still don't have to take it out of here. You can just save your helmet settings the way that you've set them up, which is super convenient. Um, another thing I wanted to show you guys real quick is I also have, uh, I also have the Hero 8. It's out of the it's out of the media mod right now, but I also have the Hero 8 media mod, which I don't believe no, it doesn't have the sock. Sorry, I'll just grab it to show you. So it doesn't have the sock, but I run this one without a battery as well because it has it it kind of has the same issue where you know you just want to leave it running, which works fine for me anyways, because generally I'll put this eight up in the tree to get those, you know, downward shots or those cool shots of me working away from the camera. Um, and what I'll do is I'll just leave it on and then record with the remote uh, when it's time. And then I'll just stop recording when I'm not doing anything. So that's the media mod for that. And then the way that I run 
this one is I have uh, just a Mophie power station. Okay, nothing crazy about it. It's just got the, you know, USB-C on it. And then I've zip tied it to the jaws clamp mount. So, you know, this just ensures that you're not like this one here is even bigger than the other one. So I, I've never run out of battery and I've had this thing fired up, turned on for, you know, five hour jobs. As long as you're not recording that whole five hours, um, you're it's going to last, you know, forever until you get out of the tree. So it's a pretty slick setup. And I mean, that's pretty straightforward. You could use any power bank for this. This one I just happened to have. So I decided to use it. And then you can... Uh, clamp it to the branches plug it in aim your camera and then record it from a distance it works really slick and then uh, i also use this for my 360 camera and generally i'll use the 360 camera when you know i know like let's say when you set the gopro up you've got one plain view okay you can use super view which kind of widens it a little bit to get some more distance with the 360 camera though it's really cool because you could pan around and i'm still learning with it and yeah i'm not the best with it but i'm i'm learning to get better with it and it, it really is handy but unfortunately the 360 camera i do have a remote and it's bluetooth but i find when i get you know more than 20 feet away from it it doesn't like to record so with the 360 camera i just put a beast mode sd card in there i literally set it up in the tree and i hit record and i climb away from it and i mean I don't know the exact hours on that, but it works uh, It works really well. I've been able to capture some awesome footage, you know, and if you miss something or it's not in the middle of frame, you can just simply pan around and get it. Anyways, I hope this helps some of you guys out uh, in wanting to set up one of these pretty much endless battery hard hats. It works really good with the Protos. You know, if you use the cord pops, you organize your wires, everything's going to go great for you. Alright guys, well that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.